What kind of music are you into? Well, as we all know, there's rap, there's, um, there's singer-songwriter, we have bluegrass, um, of, of course there's, there's country music, did I say that already? Um, various, various genres of music to choose from. No, like, what's your go-to workout song? 525,600 minutes. I can't think of anything at the moment. Sorry. Hi, is this how to communicate on a first date like you actually live in modern society? I, I saw your ad on Craigslist. Oh yes, come on in, take a seat, Annie. See, we've got so much to cover today. All right, now when you hear your name, please say present. Mary. Present. All right, now if you'll take out your notebooks, we're going to start with a little pre-test about some acceptable conversation topics to have on a first date. Let's begin. Just take all the time you need. Okay, pre-test. So I've got, so what's your favorite ensemble number from Newsies? <laughs> no, not every boy was born in New Jersey. So do you just play the guitar or do you occasionally lead sing in your worship band? Is he, is that a specific? We'll circle back. What else do you have? Come on, there are no wrong answers. Um, I have written here, do you want children? Okay, so we have determined the baseline. So what we have here is a classic case of you growing up with a vivid imagination and various hobbies that have turned you into a well-rounded individual. However, you may find that some male individuals on the cusp of Gen Z have a dampened sense of right versus wrong. No, more of a dampened sense of personality. The things that you discuss on the first date don't have to be things that you actually care about. They just have to be able to carry you into the ether of the next appropriate topic. Got it? It's not actually about talking about things that he likes and he does not care what you like. It's really more about talking about things that he'll perceive as normal. Remember this and you're in. Next, we have Shaw Mandos. Oh yeah, do you mean Shaw Mendes? All you have to do is say this man's name correctly and he'll know you're his wife. Next, we have Ed Sheeran. Now, if you start to play Ed Sheeran or tell him that you like Ed Sheeran, he'll be like, ugh, Ed Sheeran. But he loves it. Deep inside, he knows he loves it. So one more thing to keep in mind is rap. 
there's this phenomenon that you may not be aware of where if you learn all of the lyrics to a really, really fast rap song and then you can just whip it out at any point at a party, in a car, just any time, you receive clout. Rap equals clout. Clout. <laughs> and now moving on to sports. So you see, it does not matter if you care about sports or not. I'm not aware of your life choices. All you need to know for the purposes of a first date in sports is this. Am Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Cameron Newton. Yes, Mary? Never mind. Oh. So for TV, we have Marvel. And Marvel, here's what you need to know. It's superheroes. And if he starts talking about Tony Stark, that's Iron Man. Oh. Oh. So good, so good. And that's Marvel. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the class. You've got the music, sports, television. I really hope you've learned something. I mean, just take some benefit from my experience. Was it good? We went to a CC's pizzeria and I ate from the salad bar. Good question. Sorry. Meanwhile, he went to the manager and he asked for an application. I don't know, I guess he liked their mac and cheese pizza. So then, to salvage what was left of the date, I went up to him and I said, Greg, Cam Newton. And we just celebrated our sixth anniversary. On Sundays we watch NASCAR, it's riveting television, Mary. The NASCAR, Mary. Mary. We watched the NASCAR. So like I had a really great time with you. <laughs> it turns out the sequel can be better than the original. Yeah, the sequel was really great. And it was so nice of you to bring that coupon for the discount popcorn. So who's your favorite singer? Easy. Shawn Mandos. Okay. What do you like to do in your spare time? I, for one, after a long day selling boat renters insurance, like to crack a cold cherry coke with the boys. You? Well, have you heard of Cam Newton? Truth that she learned, or in times that he cried, in bridges he 